Ow. Wait, wee little roller coaster. Groovy. Hey, whoa, what the hell? Welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night. We're in Outer Wilds again, and here by our campfire with Slate roasting his marshmallows as always. Eat a vegetable, Slate. Just try one, you know. Bit of broccoli, you know. Shred a lettuce. I don't know some of these leaves, and you can roast them if you like. That's probably not a good idea. But just eat something other than marshmallows, you know. I'm gonna just. Look after yourself, mate. Right. Let's go, shall we? And get on with this. There's my ship. You may have noticed, regular viewers may have noticed, if you watch all my videos, that you may have noticed that this week there have been one or two unscheduled videos of a different sort. Um, you know, usually they're for reasons like, you know, Sea of Thieves when they have an update coming up i like to get a video about that out as soon as possible rather than waiting three days for the next one to come out um and then the sea of thieves the sidekicks mini adventure that was just because i happened to capture a few bits of footage on the xbox which is why there's no voice for it and um you know some occasionally something happens that's just too funny not to share you might not have found it all that amusing but you know when it was happening man that was funny so we're gonna go to dark bramble today also, by the way, talking about, like, impromptu videos. Um, Dark Bramble. I actually started to think seriously about whether or not I should move my videos to all sort of weekly ones, right? So, in other words, um, you know, instead of doing Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, do you think it would be better? Do you watch more... Um, like YouTube video. I'm gonna smack into this thing again, aren't I? Yeah. I am! God damn it! You know, I think if I've learned anything here, it's that I should let Otto the autopilot take the reins just now and again, you know? Right, so this time. Instead of flying right, so yeah, I, to carry on with that before I lose my thread again. Should I, you know, do you watch more YouTube videos in the week? Do you think I should post Monday, Wednesday, Friday instead of you know Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday? It doesn't make any difference to me. I could, you know, I suppose it would adjust my schedule a little, but it really wouldn't make that much difference. So I don't know. I might do that. We'll see. Now I have a new viewer. Or I think he's a new viewer. Well, they are a new viewer. Him, her, I don't know. Um, uh, who suggests that I, I... I'm sorry I can't remember your name at the moment. I don't have it in front of me. Normally I write these sort of things down, but it's been a very busy week, so I do apologise. I'll put your name on the screen, well, I know, but... Um, I like this person. In some ways, they're not afraid to give their opinion, even when it's bad, and it sometimes is. Let's get the... Uh, signal scope out. Who said don't head towards this red light now as much as i appreciate the tips and it's great I, I i really do love that you give me the tips that's great thank you very much but i prefer not to have any spoilers at all even when it's to save my life i know that you don't really want to watch you know someone constantly dying you know, it's not a great deal of fun for you to watch someone die over and over again when you could actually stop that happening by just giving me a little pointer. But, you know, they suggested not going towards the red light. So we're going to try, but this time we came straight in, because if you remember last time, I probably would have made it, but, like, I almost ran out of fuel. Do you remember? If you were there, I was there, man. Oh, let's see what happens now. We come on. 
I've got to make it this time. I think bringing the ship in here, you know, I was trying last time, I tried bringing the ship in. I think that's just too big a target. I think that just makes you really a massive target for the anglerfish. I'm not saying they won't kill me like this, but, you know. God damn. Right. There. There's a light. There's a light. Over at the Frankenstein place. Wow. I mean, we could be going round and round in here forever. Couldn't we? Don't you think? I'm starting to get that feeling. Oop. Certainly, we're going to run out of fuel before much longer. This is another seed that I'm heading towards. Please tell me this is my buddy. I'm trying not to use too much fuel, but of course the oxygen goes down whether I use the fuel or not. Whoa. Please tell me it's not another seed. There we go. All that. There we go. I think we might actually make it this time. Fuel level is critical, but we might actually make it. Who knows? There's a gravity thing there. Oh! Oxygen detected. There is. Whatever the name is, I don't know who it is. Felspar! Felspar, man, is it good to see you. Can I nick some of your fuel? And I suppose you've got a first aid kit kicking around, have you? I'll just turn that off. You probably don't want to want that on. Felspar, you got a first aid kit, mate? No? Well, what good are you? There's Feldspar. I like his outfit. It's better than a lot of the others. Anyway, let's talk to Feldspar, shall we? Hello. Whoa. Where'd you come from? No one's coming here in... Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second hearthy in the ever reach Dark Bramble, dude. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut. You haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? That's not very nice. You don't sound very bright to me. Well, that's probably because I've given you, like, Bill and Ted type voice, so, you know. Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. Wait, what? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge. None of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble, so I think, hey, let's give this a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, and I run into this huge anglerfish, biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into the vine, and... Well, like I said, I crash. Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy, man! It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor friend, Fried Chip. I camped out near where I crashed at first, found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So, moved my setup over here, planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Oh. 
I can't believe you didn't die. You know, in the old days, I used to think the same thing every time I came back from a fight in one piece. Flight, even. Three days. I'm used to it. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. The story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. <laughs> Anything else you wanted? I found something. Lay it on me, Hatchling. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hawk. That's a bad business, Hatchling. This chart will tell you, if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick, like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, we Arthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. <laughs> we are going to be done in by a supernova, mate, so sorry and all that. Hey, wait. Hey, that's like pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to your tales of my heroic exploits, have you? Where? You reached the core of Giant's Deep. How'd you do it? Giant's Deep's core, huh? <laughs> that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kinda feels like cheating. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Okay, Feldspar. Thanks, man. Thanks. Tail of the anglerfish. So that's the mouth of the anglerfish. the flickering light. There's the ship. I'm trying to land on this thing, I don't know if I can, or if I should, or what good it'll do. It's not like I can get inside. I was hoping to find a first aid kit since my ship is no more. Wow. So which way? Oh, obviously that way, because you can't go this way. Alright. Let's follow it. Out. Wait, look at wee little roller coaster. Groovy. Whoa, what the hell? To the dimensional seed thi thing. Ooh, ooh. Hello. What is this? Nope. 
<laughs> Trip four. Entry. I'm going to say not one. Yeah, I think I gave this guy more or less the right voice. Crashes three. Boring crashes zero. Personal best. Whoa. Oh, oh. Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. You were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here, too. Nah. This thing tastes terrible. Outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior gravity to see what's in there. Tastes any better? Ooh, I, no, probably not. That's... you. A note. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this, even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these... <laughs> oh, it's from Feldspar. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity again. Do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Insulation for electric from electricity. That's what I came in here for. Does this path continue? Where does it go? Uh oh. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. This is going to be where I die, isn't it? Uh-oh. What the hell? I got out. But what if I didn't want to get out? I mean... Okay. Well, I mean, it seems obvious I'm going to run out of fuel before I can do anything really serious here. Really lost control of that, didn't they? Ow. I just figured I'd die a bit more. Uh, you know, what's the harm? So I was trying to get up there. Huh? But it's, I mean, it's not going to happen, is it? Or is it? More to the point, what use is it ever going to be to get up here? I can't see there being anything of any. That's the quantum moon. Uh, we can't make it. Oh. Wait. Oh. It would have been nice if I could make it back to Feldspar, but I can't remember which vine he was in now. So that's probably not going to happen either. Whoa. to run out of fuel, guys. Ow. Oh, man. That was bad. How bad was it? That was pretty bad. Anyway, you know, we spoke to Feldspar <clears throat> about the electric shieldy jellyfish things. 
Uh, and I guess that was probably useful somehow. I'm not entirely sure, but I guess we'll see. There he is, jabbering away. my breath there a bit sort of reflexively I don't really know why it was just a weird thing to do wasn't it I was trying not to do it again I'm sorry that was just weird anyway that's it for this episode I don't know what next time maybe we'll go to uh, I think we'll probably try to oh god I really don't want to but I think we'll go back to Brittle Hollow there's a lot to do at Brittle Hollow uh, and now anyway I think I see you know the way to get in um, that I don't have to go through the planet and around. Um, you know, I noticed when I was editing it last time, I should have just paid more attention to that. But that's for next time. Uh, until then, you can follow me at Knights underscore Arcade if you want to head on to Twitter and see what's going on there. I post things there from time to time, you know, little bits, clips of things that have happened and videos, you know, little things that are only a few seconds or a minute long, but I don't usually bother with posting here on YouTube, so... I do stuff like that, uh, and I chat about what's coming next and what I'm going to do. I share these videos, but, you know, if you're following on YouTube, you won't need any of that. And if you only want to follow me on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed and you like my videos, you want to see more, and ring the notification bell. And you should get a notification every time I post a new video. But until next time, from Night's Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty-night. Night.